I hope you all prepare for this. I hope you all prepare for this. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Gat for Macy, and welcome back to another video of this. This dramatic, horrific, just this all round, just, yeah, just. We're gonna play it, and we're gonna continue it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the video. Does she look like she could take care of a baby? Johans Lee. I don't know what to say to you guys. Just. Damn. That's all I can say is damn. It is now that Johans returns with security along with the concerned looking Officer Lee. They surround her and move to escort the hysterical woman. Judging by his pale face, he has heard the whole thing and I feel nothing but pity for the man. I'm so sorry for her behavior. She's been under a lot of stress and the alcohol. Talking nonsense, that's all it is. You're not allowed to drink because of the baby, Shelley. What are you thinking? Nothing to see here, people. Move along. Is there really nothing here but the ramblings of a drunk? Yes, that's right. There's no way that what Rochelle says is the truth. What she says doesn't match up. I know, Luke. Do you really, though? Do you really, though? I mean, he was gone this morning. He's always gone. If such a scandalous meeting on to be arranged, he won't do it in such an exposed place, especially not near his precious flowers. And he definitely won't promise responsibility over a child unless it can be helped. Besides, Luke will never, he will never go so far as to sleep with another woman, right? I don't know. I don't know. He's suspicious, man. Okay, fine. Who am I kidding? If I am to be completely honest with myself, he might cheat. Okay. At least you're honest with yourself in that regard. With a bit of temptation and a bit of alcohol, he just might. And doesn't that just make my blood boil? To even think of the slightest possibility of infidelity. Lee isn't too far off when he told me how Luke still acted like some young hotshot bachelor. It starts to make me think. Perhaps a break is needed. I need to work for my happy ending. Whew. Which one is the best choice, man? I need to work for my happy ending. This is like... It's bad. Yeah. Becky's words are still fresh in my mind, and I can't help but think that the girl plucky woman that she is has a point. If I love Luke, I have to fight for him, don't I? So far, I've been doing nothing and sitting on my behind, hoping it'll fix itself. This whole mess definitely isn't going to fix itself. How dare that woman try to drag our name and our relationship through the mud with her lies, and at my own party. No, man, work towards your future, not his fucking future. I meant your future, man. Oh, bloody hell. Determination fires me up as I take a step forward into the middle of the fray. She wilts as, she, as soon as she sees me. She starts to grow anxious and her protests die down. I can see as her haughty, angry expression turns into a horrified realization. Rightfully so. She should be scared. What is that thing they say again? Never wake a sleeping dragon. Oh, God, here come the flames. Um. I invite you, my friend, into my house on a day of merriment. And you insult my name and accuse my husband of infidelity. What have I ever done to make you treat us with such disrespect? You are no longer welcome in any of our estates, our properties, and our businesses. And we will no longer patronize yours. Now, escort the girl and make sure she isn't standing even an inch within our grounds. She looks devastated. Reasonable. This does make her into a perrier, doesn't it? I don't know. I should feel concerned, but I can't find even an inkling of mercy within me. I don't know what her plan was. I don't know what she wants to make out of this. Bloody hell, is she telling the truth or not, man? The money, Luke, it doesn't matter what she wanted. You won't show your face to me ever again if you know what is good for you, Rochelle. Take her away. 
The tension is thick in the air and the silence that embraces the room is so set that one can practically hear a pin drop. There are worried and almost fearful glances from some of the guests, but they all know this is well within my rights. Even if the woman is lying, there is always an inkling of truth in every lie. So when I turn on him to say that the shock he displays brings me gratification is an understatement. Of course, there is no reason to make a husband and wife spat into a public spectacle. Some privacy will generate the least number of headaches and complications. Everyone is still far too busy in the ballroom. Most of the staff are still in the kitchen. A sharp glance at everyone who will go through the doors is all it takes to make them retreat. And the most private we can get without me dragging Luke all the way to our bedroom is the foyer. And you? We are going to talk about this, Lucille Mitchell Wright. Not now, but we will talk about this. Uh, right! I swear that is not my child, no matter what that woman says. Hannah, darling, you believe me, don't you? I believe that it isn't your child. Gullible. Fucking gullible. But you never said that you did not cheat on me with her. We'll have a talk about that tomorrow. Among other things. <sighs> She's upset. What for? What other things? About us, Luke. This isn't right. This doubting each other and not talking. That's why we'll talk. If anyone needs me, I'll be in our room. I'm in no mood to be talking with anyone about anything. Especially nosy baggers who have no business with any of it. Should I be worried? Scared? Because you know threats do not work with me, Hana. None of those. You should know I'm not your enemy, Luke. I just need... I need rest. That's all. Of course. Of course. You must be so tired. You've earned some peace. I'll take over the party from here. Good night, love. Good night, Buttercup. If I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Saturday, Saturday is the time to chill, the time to relax, because come morning the dining hall is a mess with a few of his drunk friends sleeping about. At least a dozen men and women are scattered about, sleeping like they are in alcohol-induced comas. Even Officer Lee is there, sleeping off the effects and still clutching a bottle of the 1998 Jumilla. There's only so much I can tolerate as we have Johans retrieve every single one and get them in a cab. And they are everywhere. At the table, on it and underneath it, and some are even in the kitchen. Nap time is over, kinder. Time to go. And oh dear, does this piss our valet, though he is still a man of silent fury. Although it is a little treat to hear him utter curses in German from the other room. I imagine Luke will be amused as well, if it isn't his guests that are being thrown out. Instead, he is brooding in his seat, rolling a stalk of daffodil in between his fingers. He's energetic, and you aren't drunk that or you are getting better with handling your hangovers without your dog hairs. Should I be looking out the window to see if the sky has turned red and if pigs have started to fly? I am unfortunately completely sober, Hana. And how does it feel not okay. being an over? Still miserable. It'll get better. Or so they say. You wanted to talk about something. You know, for once, I wish you were hungover. Maybe this isn't the best time for this talk. No, no, please. I do not like loose ends. And this is a bloody ugly loose end. Then, first things first, I want you to be honest with me. Just between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Without others to impress. Without people listening in. Just you and me. Did you or did you not sleep with Rochelle Lee and got her pregnant? I didn't get her pregnant. But did you sleep with her? But the thought of having a child with her? Can you just imagine it? Did you sleep with her? Or rather, don't. I can already see it. It'll look like that ruddy pig boy from that young wizard book. I don't care about once upon a time. What I'm asking is if you were with her the other night during my party. Him not showing up in the most of the gatherings I've hosted in the past is nothing new, of course. The one I've had last week is no different. It's merely another thing I've gotten used to between us after things turned sour. 
but after Rochelle's outburst last night, I won't deny feeling the disappointment. I still want to hear the truth from him. She... she made me meet with her the night of your party. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. Yeah? But I swear, I only agreed to go so that I could tell her I wasn't having none of it. None of what? None of what? It isn't my baby. I don't even think it's Lee's. Poor bloke. I mean, I probably slept with her once. Probably is a good enough yes for me. Jesus. We were probably incredibly drunk, but that would have been a long time ago before she was prego. Are you sure, Luke? You're not making anything up or leaving anything out? Of course not. I swear it on my mother's grave. All right. I believe him. <sighs> well, if that's all you wanted to talk about, you shouldn't have made me worry. For the sake of my sanity and for the sake of our marriage, I'll pretend that you never said any of that. Are you sure you aren't drunk now? Haven't had a single drop and hating it. Would you like something to drink? Because I'm not done. I have something else to tell you. Okay. No thanks, maybe I will after this little talk you wanted to have. I already told you and you already said you believe me that the brat isn't my child. I already spilled that I might have had drunken sex with her once and you wish to wipe that off your memory. So do we have anything else to talk about because have at it, I'm all ears. You're pretty miffed for someone who just admitted to his wife that he's cheated. And you're stalling. I can tell that incident has you shaken up. So why don't you just spit it out and get this all over with? I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 My words exactly. <laughs> come again? Yes, please come again. <laughs> You heard me. You've got to be kidding, right? This must be cause some kind of joke. Are you taking the piss at me? Because woman, I don't need a second fake pregnancy. Instead of answering, however, I stay silent and let the matter of the fact sink into his head. His face heats up for a moment before he goes pale. He raises a hand in the hopes of asking for a drink, but the morning staff are still busy e evicting the loss of his inebriated companions and doesn't even bother to bark out orders as if he's lost his every voice. Actually, he looks like he's on the verge of hyperventilating. <laughs> this, this is Anna, Anna darling. Uh, I, I need some air. How, uh, how, how long have you been? Three months. Three months? What the? Oh my word. No, what is she was so feeling and emotional about this whole thing with him? And the twins, although we don't know yet if they're a boy or a girl or... You already know they're twins? Or both. <sighs> Dear God, twins. Dear God! Twins! I'm going to be a father! Yep. To two tiny, tiny, tiny babies! Breathe, Luke! <laughs> Goodness, Luke, I'm the one who's pregnant here, not you! No, don't touch me! Stay away! Oh, shit. A scream cuts off my amusement, and without thinking, Luke and I rush to the foyer. What's happened? There stands a crazed looking chief inspector, trashing about as he tries to make it up the stairs while Johans holds him back. What is going on here? Und tschüss! All the Schweinehunde must leave, including you, Chef Inspector. This one is very problematic and will not leave. No, you can't make me leave! I need to stay here for her! I need to help her! Who? Oh, Rochelle? She's probably already at home, dearie. Or she might have already gone and skipped down. Who knows? Oh, for the love of... There's no point talking logic in him. Lee, go home. You're drunk. Can't you hear her crying? Can he hear the ghost? She was crying, just weeping and in so much... Pain last night! I couldn't help her. Drunk sobbing bastard that I am. He's not but talking about his wife. She needs my help. Tell your fucking stupid laptop to let go of me, Luke! 
Or I'm gonna knock him down and I'm gonna knock the two of you down too! Language! I've already dealt with your wife, so don't make me deal with you, Lee. Oh, I swear! Hana, enough. Don't stress yourself over him. It'll be bad for the twins. So go back to your breakfast and let me handle this, okay? Are you sure? Why wouldn't I be? Now, go ahead and do something less stressful. What the hell? Lee heard the crying woman. Go ahead and do nothing. There isn't much to do, it seems, whatever I step up to the plate and try to take responsibility for something. And with Johans overseeing the staff and Luke handling everything else as a whole, that doesn't leave me much, much for me. I can't even take the job of delegation, because all it takes is a word to one of the senior staff and everything will be taken care of for me. Moving in here a few days ago may have very well been the chore that took the most effort from me, and that didn't take any real effort at all. Yes, Hana, go buy a mansion in the middle of nowhere. Good idea. Great plan. Okay. It's not like I'm craving anything else, nor do I have any unfinished business left here. <coughs> but there's a call into this room. Speaking of calling, why not do just that? Might as well, since I have nothing else to do. At least that will require some effort on my part. With how cut off from the rest of the Luxborn the mansion is, and with how long it was abandoned before we moved in, having a landline is out of the question. The solution is supposed to be on mobiles, though it isn't much considering how spotty the signal is in the area. Okay. I have to park my rear on one of the cold drawers. That suits me just fine. Another matter that needs my effort is who to call. She who must not be named is certainly off the list. That doesn't leave much in the category of close friends who attended the party, along with the category of who else is awake at this early hour. But soon enough I manage and the call goes through. Hello, Rebecca Gales here. Ah, shit. Uh, who's this? Good morning, Becky. Uh, Hannah? Oh wait, how did you get my number? You responded to your RSVP through the phone. It's all saved in here, of course. I thought I'd like to say hi and make plans and get together sometime. Also, I'd love to hear news about your mother and father and about you, my dear. Oh, I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, you're good. It's sports day at school today, so I was just prepping for that. Figures that you'd be a teacher as well. I'm sure your students must absolutely adore you. <laughs> Don't know about that. Mathematics? History, actually. Anyway, it's real nice to know you've got my number. I was going to ask for yours because Mom wanted to keep in touch. You could have asked, silly girl. I would have gladly given it to you. Couldn't, though, because, well, the thing that happened. But really am sorry, though. I gotta run. School, schedule, stuff. Is there anything else you want to say? Don't want to use the mobile while driving. Oh, of course, of course. I shouldn't keep you. But I wanted to thank you for your company yesterday. Not a problem. And for that other thing as well. What for now? For what you said to me. With what had happened. It's been very helpful in... Oh, damn. The call starts to go to static, much to my frustration. A strange clicking noise drowns out most of her words too. I doubt she can understand what I'm saying. And the line completely dies. I can feel a headache coming along. It's just building up, starting from a light throbbing on one side of my head. The static is gone and that helps a lot, but there's still that incessant horrible clicking. Again and again and again, which doesn't make sense. The mobile's turned off, isn't it? And if it isn't coming from the phone, then where? Looking about, I can help but let my eyes be drawn to the hatch leading into the wine cellar once more. It's when the clicking stops and I can hear that crying. The familiar crying from before. Jesus, it's happening all over again. What happened the other day when I was told that nobody should have been down there? I tried to forget it because of how it unsettled me so. One can hardly do that when I'm looking at the very thing I'm trying to forget. Somebody is crying down there again. 
But if I leave it alone, it simply won't stop bothering me for the rest of the day. They might have forgotten to lock it, but the party this goes on. This again? If somebody is pulling my leg, I will not be happy! Oh shit. True enough, all it takes is a bit of a pull to open the hatch. As I look down to the cellar, a sense of uneasiness wa washes over me. It isn't just the sudden onset of vertigo and nausea, but also the darkness. It's suffocating. And as I look down, it feels as if it's looking back at me. I worry that something will suddenly pull me into the deep. Cries drown beneath the shrieks that start echoing in my head. High and shrill, like nails being dragged across a chalkboard. Oh, Jesus! Come on already! Help me. She wants to drown me, drag me down and crush me in the very depths of darkness until there is nothing left of me. The deep abyss waits for me. For my death. No, she's pregnant! They're all calling for it. This is a nightmare. Oh, there's a wrap around my neck and I can feel the rest of me being torn apart. And, and they're still screaming. I'm screaming. Though it is not my voice that escapes my lips, it tools through, climbing up and forcing its way up my throat like putrid guile. Where's the smoke coming from? A choking gag, yet I scream and shriek all at the same time. And I'm me, but not me. Oh shit! Motherfucker! Tap! 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 It pushes me down to my knees before I'm, I'm prone and vulnerable on my stomach. It makes me tumble and I can just feel my whole body seizing, writhing on the floor. Everything and nothing hurts. I feel like I'm on the verge of death. And if I'm not dying, I nearly wish I actually oh, no. Oh no, what is going on in here? Why are you? Prince. P Prince? Prince? <gasps> Seeing Luke, something snaps back and I'm able to take a gasp of air on my own volition for the first time in what felt like centuries. I would have rejoiced and cried for his name if the pain still did not rake my whole body. My body. Instead, Instead, all I can do is stare listlessly as he comes to my side and lifts me up, cradling me in his arms. He tries to get me to my feet, perhaps to take me out of here. But all he's able to do is to get me to sit, make sure I'm not trashing, thrashing on the floor. I can still feel my muscles spasm, limbs jerking like a puppet on a string. Luke holds me tight and keeps me still so that I do not hurt myself anymore. Whatever it is that happened, it has my mind feeling frayed and battered. Eventually the pain dies down into a dull ache and my own tongue stops feeling like cotton. Starts feeling like cotton. It's only now that I can feel the wetness on my cheeks, tears streaking down my face. <coughs> oh Jesus, that didn't sound really good. A coughing rakes my body now that I don't feel like choking. And it just feels so horrible, but I don't care. I don't care. <coughs> Please. Please, what? What happened here? Who did this to you? I don't know. I am so, so sorry. Shh, it's all right. You're safe now, Hana. You're safe now. I think I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. Now that we finished Hannah's story. Jeez. That was, that was good. I'm actually more interested now and curious to know what actually happened. To that ghost lady. Like, what did the prince do to her? I'm assuming the prince in the paintings is who she's talking about. Which looks really familiar to Luke. I mean... But she doesn't look anything like the chick in the painting. She's got black hair. The other chick's got curly blonde hair. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hey, anyways... I am going to leave the episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and enjoyed it, don't hit, hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. If you want to see more videos, leave me some suggestions, comments. I love reading your guys' comments. I'm going to see you guys next time. Until then, have an awesome day on that in the gaming world.